All right, all right. We are back with another episode of Solo Southhound Hardcore. If you caught the last episode, we were on uh, the Alcabor server. We're picking it back up here again because I just have been enjoying it so much. As you can see, since the last episode, we have made some improvements. Um, I now am able to get the Stone UI in a modified full screen. So here we go. No crashes or issues with it so far either. That's a lot of fun. Um, I fixed some of my font color issues and yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I consider this fully playable now. I know last week we had some issues with a few minor things. What is going on, Wrecked? Good to see you, dude. Hey, hey, what's going on, Dino? Zyathin, what's up, dude? Glad to see everybody is here. Nice and early. I guess they let you out at a reasonable time today, Zythan. Um, Dino, I could make the graphics quality better, but it's low, like, on purpose, if that makes sense. This is that EQ that you played right after you took the disc out of the box and finished your two-day install and patch. Yeah, I know what you mean about that, Zythan. Speaking of that, uh, word is my schedule may be changing uh, soon. Temporary thing. You know how that goes. Um, but yeah, for like six months or so, my schedule might be pretty hectic. We'll see what happens with this if that comes to fruition. I won't know for another week or two if it's really going to take off. But it could be like more or less from December to uh, June. I'll be pretty tied down. I'm doing like a rotating 12-hour uh, shift work kind of schedule. Doing nights and days. Yeah, do you know, most likely, like, part of it is the, uh, so we're playing at the the original EverQuest resolution, but it's, like, stretched, you know what I mean? I could do some things, like, check this out. Boom. So that looks a little bit better, I think. This is the classic UI that you would have got, uh, the, you know, they called this the, the Velius UI. It's not really Velius UI, it came out before then. Um... This is the classic UI. The difference between the standard Velius UI and, and what we have here is that these are locked. I can't move any of this. But I'm a nerd, so I like it like this. Over the uh, the couple days since our last stream, I managed to have some positive impact, very, very minor positive impact on uh, tag P. I noted some small bugs, reported them, and the staff, the staff was uh, very prompt in uh, fixing them. So now we're just waiting for the patch to go in. But one of the things that was noted was this pincer quest that you can do in Field of Bone, where you turn in the four pincers to Warlord like Ziz and you get EXP. It wasn't giving enough EXP. It was like, I thought it was way off. So they went and they reviewed uh, some data that I submitted and they, they did some packet analysis on their own and uh, they determined that we were correct and with the next patch, it'll be giving much better EXP. And that kind of prompted some people, I think, to, to look into some other um, EXP quests like that. And it looks like a number of them are getting changed. So that's really awesome. And uh, I got to say, I was really happy to see like that the staff for TACP was uh, pretty... Um, pretty good like you know i came in and i you know i'm on the server for like a day and i'm like saying i think this is wrong you know a lot of people could be like screw off dude but they were really receptive and when i provided uh some data you know what i mean they took it seriously so really positive experience with them whoa whoa xythin Thank you for the gifted sub. Dino, congratulations. Welcome to the sub community. Enjoy your emotes, dude. I need to like make my Twitch chat uh, bigger. One sec. Yeah, 
Yeah, I like the stone UI a lot. Yeah, as I think it's tough. Like scheduling is so so hard uh, for this sort of thing. It's getting to where like it's like trying to schedule D and D. You know what I mean? Like it's tough. I think I'm gonna start a guild on this server, uh, just like a super casual guild of people who are doing like solo self found, duo self found, maybe even trio self found kind of groups like this. Mikey B, why didn't I play on a live server? I did actually um, once upon a time. You know, obviously, like back in the day, I played uh, on the Nameless. And then I came back in 2010. That was my my big return to EverQuest. And I played on um, Fronavi because of the free trade and everything. I thought it was just like a really cool concept. And actually, I wanted to role play. I got to Fronavi in 2010 and I found out that nobody, nobody actually role plays anymore. Uh, but I just went with it. So... I played there for a little while and that's when they were like, that's how I first heard about the creation of um, of a TLP server. I was like, oh, I'll check this out. Like I was super motivated because I had really crazy goals. Um, I was on front of I and I was like in some casual guild, just the people that were nice to me. And I was like, hey, we should start raiding. We should, we should try to be the top guild on front of I. Like that shit was never gonna happen. Um, but that was my goal. I was trying to push this guild to become like really hardcore. And then I saw the TLP announcement and I was like, oh, I'm gonna play there. Um, and so when I was able to get on, I think I like literally came home from school <laughs> and uh, after class logged on to Vulac and created Faceless that day. The rest is kind of history. Um, but you know, I've always been like super nostalgic and it's always drawn me back to like these classic eras. I do like live content and I wanna play some of the, the newest stuff because it looks really cool, like the return to Kunark um, and now the return to Velius, it does look really awesome. It just hasn't worked out that way for me. But I'm glad that you are here and that you've been watching the videos on YouTube. I hope you enjoy them. Whoa, whoa, Gilmir, thank you so much for the sub, dude. How are you doing? Today is a good day. Let me tell you what. Five month streak. Yeah, it looked really good. I saw that they added like new shaders for ice so they could make uh, more believable ice. I thought it looked really good. I want to play it one day. Some of the stuff I want to do in EQ, I'm convinced is going to have to wait until I'm like old and retired. But we'll get there. The dream never dies. As long as I survive 2020, I think we'll be okay. I know, right, Sicarius? They need to stop, <laughs> right, yeah. They need to stop promoting me at work. I have a big problem um, at work, which is that like, I have a personal policy that whenever there's an opportunity to volunteer to do more, I, uh, I want my hand to be the first hand that goes up. It's a really bad, a really bad way to live your life if you'd like to, to do things but it's a really good way to make your boss like you a lot. Dude, I know, right? Yeah, Sicarius, I plan on 20 or 30 yearing it, depending, depending on how things go. Unless I get really bored. Yeah, as I think sometimes I'm like, Man, I can't see EverQuest being here like 10 years from now, you know, because like the, the progression servers are pretty rough sometimes. Like like with Eridun, where like the first week or two, you couldn't even really play because like the launch was so bad. It makes it all very questionable. But then you're like, there were actually times when EverQuest was kind of in a worse position, you know what I mean? When there was no, no such thing as a progression server and everybody you knew, all your friends were leaving, guilds were just closing left and right. So even though it feels terrible sometimes, this is probably not the darkest page in EverQuest history. And now that EverQuest has a little distance and it's been separated from some of the other games that um, they used to have to fund with EverQuest money, I think the future might, I'm hesitant to say it, but it might be kind of bright for EverQuest. 
if they start pumping some of the money that EQ is making every month back into EQ, it could be really good. Now I do worry about, oh, I don't care about this. I do worry about uh, things like Prathen leaving. Like that's just a, a huge amount of institutional knowledge gone when he left. But yeah. Oh, secrets. What's going on, buddy? What's going on, buddy? A big thanks to secrets who has enabled us to have this amazing 1999 vision that we have right now. He was the guy who was like, hey, idiot, just press alt enter and it can be full screen. And here we are. Yeah, Mikey, I think they're making a smart move the way they went back to Kunark, you know, and Valius, because like, basically I view EverQuest Live as it exists now as, as really a different game. Like you have simply progressed into a brand new game um, over the years. And um, Robot. And since they've gone to a different game, it's like, this new expansion is an opportunity for them to revisit some of your favorite content in the context of this new EverQuest. It's still technically EverQuest 1, right? Like EQ Original Velius is still there for you to explore, but it just doesn't play the same that Live EQ plays. And so it's kind of like we're just reimagining that content for the, the EverQuest that we have today. And I think it was a really smart move. I don't know if you guys caught what just happened there on screen, but very good um most servers i play on including uh live servers this doesn't happen but i was moving stopped and immediately cast and my spell resolved and i didn't get a, cha a channeling check that i saw a lot of servers like you've got to stop moving for like three seconds otherwise it will automatically fail your cast and say that you have to you can't be moving around while you're casting so man that felt fresh Oh yeah, I, you know what, this, so I'm playing the old content, but this, this server is technically up to Luckland right now. Um, so I might not have to, to press meditate. I suspect I don't. Let's, let's see. Oh yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't work boys. We can't press it. That's a good thing. This would be really classic. What's up Doji? How you doing buddy? Doji starts playing on green. The Zade moves to the Alcabor project. We're destined to be forever apart. Whew, I don't know how to say your name, but thank you for following. Fiserdin. What's going on, Ryan? Feels good to stream, dude. Feels good. We're doing this SSF Necromancer. You know, I'm thinking about like end goals. I'm not settling. So since we're doing a Necromancer, right? Should be pretty easy, pretty easy run 250 if I don't do anything stupid. So let's talk about end goals. What do I want to do? Well, I'm a Necromancer, right? XR, evil, hate all races. I want to go to like every city and, and kill some prominent member of the society. Like we'll do like uh, Carson McCabe and Haiki. We'll kill like Kane Bale and Kanos. There's some cities where like the uh, the city leader will, will wreck you though. What's going on, Chase? You want the Ring of Scale versus Veneral Sathir lore. Okay, yeah, I could do that. Give me a second. So um, the window for Tac P really, really grips my mouse. You'll see me going like this. Like I, I can uh, tab into my second monitor without you know, reducing the window over here, but I have to like literally ram my mouse across the screen. Oh yeah, so maybe I will have to use the book. That'll be cool though. We are pretty close to level four here, so we'll get that soon. All right. 
so let let us talk about ring of scale of venerable sath here uh pretty simple stuff so um trying to think it i don't know if venerable sath here was alive during the wars with the ring of scale Because it's it's Emperor Organic in Jaladar that are in the Field of Bone over here, um, but be that as it may, I mean you basically have the recipe for for long-standing hatred here because the Ring of Scale is more or less a, a group of dragon supremacists. They want to have very direct interventions in the affairs of mortals, and um, they left the Claws of Vishan to do that. Right? They came here. Oh shit! It's secrets. Hey, what's up, dude? So, so that's kind of like what the, the Ring of Scale is about, right? They think dragons are supreme and they want to directly influence the, the affairs of the lesser races to ensure dragon supremacy remains a thing for the foreseeable future. Uh, Venerable Sathir and to some extent the, the overall Ixar Empire are the, the opposite. They're Ixar supremacists and they think the Ixars should subjugate all life on Kunark. Um, they work very hard to do that in the height of the Ixar Empire that put them naturally at odds, right? Uh, the Ring of Scale eventually sees the Ixar Empire as a, a pretty grave threat, uh, namely Trakanon, who has the um, the gift of foresight. Trakanon sees the the huge threat that the Ixar will be to the Ring of Scale, and he and some of his followers take it upon themselves to strike back at the the Ixar society. Secrets is about to give me something I I can't have. Oh, yeah. Cannot use. Dude, look at that mana cost. 900. I really like the trade window. Secrets, I just assume that you can hear me talking. Um, so I don't have to respond in chat. Anyway, where was I? Okay, yeah. So, so Trackadon wanted to take direct action against, uh, against the, the uh, XR Empire, right? But even though the policy of the Ring of Scale was generally interventionist, um, Jaladar, the leader of the Ring of Scale, advised Trakanon not to, because he didn't want to be in like a full-on war. They just wanted to influence societies. And this was at the height of Ixar power. Well, Trakanon did not care. He was the young dragon at that time. So him and a few other dragons uh, who aren't really important and came kind of like they it seemed like they were like added after after the fact, lore-wise. They got together and they attacked the uh, the navy of um, of the Ixar Empire that created uh, the area we we call Vexar now. They attacked the the floating city. Oh shit, we're getting jumped over here, and they they attacked the navy, and then uh, the war kept going. I would like to say that Jaladar and Emperor Ganic clashed in the Field of Bone, leading to the death of Jaladar, and then finally. And like the final act of revenge of Ring of the Ring of Scale, um, Trakanon attacked Sebelis, the capital city, and destroyed it. And he stays there to this day. But he's like undead. So that's the whole Venerosathir Ring of Scale thing. Pretty much it's, it's really the Ixar uh, Ring of Scale thing. And then, uh, so you know, Venerosathir was was trying to become immortal. He's trying to become a lich. His son interfered with that process and caused him to be stuck inside a sarcophagus for hundreds or however many years. A group of Sarnak meddling around in the ruins of the city he was in found the sarcophagus, freed him, brought him back to life in the body of his son, Ryle Sathir, much later. So that's how Venerable Sathir came back. And then... He's now like, you know, creating an army of troll vargs and undead to serve him, and he plans to try to take over Kunark all over again. Um, for their part, the Ring of Scale is currently content simply to observe. And that's what Gornair is actually doing. Gornair is in the Dreadlands to monitor the progress of Venral Sathir so that they know, you know, when the time to strike is, or if maybe they can just let him do his own thing. Yeah, it's probably because um, Trakanon and Jaladar didn't see eye to eye at the end. I think there are only two NPCs you can kill in the game that give uh, 
Trakinon faction, right? Jaladar, and then the Dark Elf. He, I mean, he's not in the game anymore. You actually can't kill him. But the Dark Elf that used to be in Pa in the original 1999 release version of EverQuest before Pa got revamped like 10 times. Uh, there was a Dark Elf, kind of like an equivalent to Ambassador Devin, but for Pa. And uh, if you killed him, you got positive faction with Trakinon. All right, let's go turn these these bad boys in. Bootly, what's going on, dude? So close to level four. Get him, Vanab. Kill this decaying skeleton. That that sort of makes sense, Maze. Doesn't surprise me. I always assumed that even if you max out Trakinon Faction, he he probably maxes out at KOS. Like, you you know, if you've ever done the OT Hammer farm and you get, like, max ally with Venerable Sathir, you walk in and, like, the first four-ish guards in VS's area will con ally to you, but once you go past that, they're all KOS, including VS himself. Oh, that's crazy. Yes, I don't think they had the time to patch this yet because it was only like a couple hours ago that we pointed it out or, you know, the, that it received like the processing it needed to be verified. But this quest, um, the EXP, is going to be boosted. So check this out. Look, look at where we're at right now. See that little blue line? It's like right under the, the long part of the E kind of. It's kind of in line with the end of this little swirl. So let's start this trade. Yeah, no more staring at your EXP bar while you do turn-ins. Hmm. No movement, basically. Uh, faction, I guess, at least, in some silver and copper. But that's going to be changed, and it'll probably be pretty dang good EXP for, like, the first six levels or so. Looking forward to it. I need to start saving up some money for spells. Yeah, I believe this is the Alcabor server. If you guys want to see some information about TACP, you could do uh, exclamation mark server, and it'll give you some links and tell you a little bit about the server. Right, quality of life setting, I feel you. Look, there you go. Look how much better the graphics are. What I need to do is go to like Kanos and farm some rats and get a plague rat tail. Get that sick two platinum. Yeah, Scythe and I, I made sure I had like 20 minutes before I logged in to not be lazy and fix some of my things. We still suck at streaming, but it's okay. We're getting there one of these days. I had to represent, you know, I'm wearing my EverQuest t-shirt, so. Oh, actually, that reminds me, you know, while, while I meditate, since I have not sat down at all, I'll show you guys my newest piece of art. Let's see. Can you see this? Yeah, pretty good. All right, so this is the cover of the second ever Quest comic. It's not simply cut off the comic book. This is the original proof that they use for the cover design. Pretty cool. There is a backside to it that has, like, all the credits and everything. Unfortunately, you know, it's not like a two-sided uh, frame or anything. So... That one is never to be seen again. But I'm going to hang this up sometime soon. Nice. 40 Monk and 6 Pally on Pinar Nana Blue. Mikey, I unfortunately don't really play... I don't really play that much outside of these streams. My life is just so busy right now. I mean, I would love to. Just uh, don't have as much opportunity as I'd like. Maybe sometime in the future things will settle down a little bit, though. You guys don't even want to know how much I spent on it. Heretic Ramza, thanks for the follow. So, I'm a big fan of Final Fantasy Tactics. Very much appreciate your uh, Twitch name. So, I found that on eBay. Um, and it just had, like, the image of the comic book. 
like every other EverQuest transformation comic out there. And at the time, I was trying to buy that comic. It didn't really have anything from the title that set it out as like a special proof. You know what I mean? It was only hidden in the description, more or less, where you could uh, where you could see it. I can just go this way. So I bought it, and then it arrived, and I was like, "Wait a second. And then I looked at my description, and I was like, "Oh shit! This is like this is a good one." You know what I mean? And I didn't see any others that had sold in the last three months, and I only paid ten bucks. So I just got super lucky, I guess. Why am I? I don't even know why I'm looking at these. Like I know visually which stone is Kanos. So I started running again recently. Me and a, a, a coworker of mine have been knocking out like we ramp our, our run schedule up every week. And I had this awesome, uh, this awesome incident this weekend. So we run Monday, Wednesday, Friday, which means like I go directly from my Monday, my Monday run, sprint home, get a shower. And I do my, my, uh, quick stream over here. But, um, yeah, we do like last Monday we did three and a half miles. Then Wednesdays we do sprints. And then Fridays we do like a certain amount of time. We just run, you know, it'll be like, Oh, 20 minutes run at a competitive pace. We do that. So we do our Friday run. Everything's good. Saturday morning, I wake up. I cough one time. I blew my back out. I've been walking around like a cripple ever since. Oof. Right? Dude. Rats do not drop this much loot. I mean, I'll take it, but... Actually, I don't want any of that. Dude, Tomer in school, not today. I got bags. I think that that pause like six copper doesn't stack. Dude, I am getting I am getting old. Uh, yeah, I'm KOS here. So the reason we came here, uh, Dino, is because the rats here can drop Plague Rat Tails, which sell for one platinum, five gold, and will be a big help for me affording my spells. Oh God, I saw these lights and I thought uh, I thought good old. Lashun Novashima is over here to kill me. Man, look at secrets with all the characters. Playing a cat secrets. Gauntlets of Fiery Might. Yo, what's going on, Orox? Um, yeah, secrets. I think I have I have an idea of what you use that character for. Long time to see, Orox. You still on cello, dude? Yeah, it could be. It could be just like that they have always been itemized to drop a pile of stuff. Hey, I'm not complaining. We realistically only need like one rat tail and we're good. But we're so close to leveling, we'll probably just stay here till we ding. Oh, that sucks. That sucks to hear, Orox. I hope everything is uh, better now, dude. Hey, you should, Orox, you should grab the Discord link in uh, my description or something down here. I think it's somewhere on this page. There's a Discord link. Jump in our Discord and we can stay in touch if you're not already in there. Yeah, yeah. All those job bones and all that crap. I mean, even this guy, Granite Stormhand, he's he's what, like level 12? He's here for the uh, Shadow Knight sword quest. Ooh, be sure.
Thanks, Orox. Glad to see you there. So, Orox, if you're looking to play casually, and this actually goes for anybody in the chat here, um, I'm looking for people who are interested in kind of just casually playing around. Literally no big goals on the Alcabor server. As you can see, it's pretty classic. If this is a little too classic for you, you can use like the new UI. Um, so it's not this, this rough and you know, your resolution won't be terrible and stuff. Basically it looks like modern EQ at that point. Um, but it's a lot of fun and right now it's locked at Lucklin. Yeah, it'd be cool if he played over here. I'm sure he's really busy between making his own video game and playing on P99 and streaming. He stays very busy. This is called the Alcabor Project. It is uh, an effort to perfectly emulate the EQ Mac server Alcabor. It uses the... Uh, Secrets probably could correct me if I'm wrong here. But of the emulated servers that you can actually play on, I believe this uses the closest UI, the closest, the most classic UI, not UI. Why do I keep saying UI? Client. This uses the most classic client uh, of any of the servers that are emulated that you can actually play on. Yeah, it's only open to Lucklin. Like, Pop is only not open because they haven't finished developing it yet. You know what I mean? So they added uh, they added POK just so you could use it in the meantime. Uh-oh. Xiathan posted a link. It always gets him. Xiathan, I, I wish we didn't have to do this, but you know the moment I take off this link protection, suddenly there's going to be like 8,000 spam messages in here. You are good to go now, Zyathan. Yeah, so these are like the newbie armor, Brick of Crude Iron Ore. That's actually a pretty good drop if you're working on those newbie armor quests. Man, I almost like re-rolled this character as a human or an erudite just so I could like enjoy some of those quests. Like I can't, like I really want to do the Qbert quest in the uh, Kanos Aqueducts that gives you a plus three intelligence earring that's not lore so I could get plus six int right off the bat. But I can't do it as an XR, right? Some KOS to everybody. And the XR don't have any of the armor quests, or at least the, the XR necromancers. I mean, I know we've got the skull cap, but it's not quite the same. Lucklin a lot, of, Lucklin and Pop a lot of the uh, other race class combos got like full armor newbie sets to help you get by. Yeah, you can th you can box up to three characters, Dino, and then you could also have one character on as your bizarre mule. Yeah, West Corona could be good. South Row, uh, there's like there's that undead camp there that would be probably pretty good for the pally. I'm telling you guys, the next step is buying a CRT monitor. I don't know it'll, if it'll even look any different for you guys, but... Ooh, fishing grubs. No thanks. They weren't all in right away. They added them over a few cycles. But yeah, they're, I, I think, I want to say they're in Lucklin. Like the end of Lucklin era, they added them, Mr. Jones. Of course, I could be wrong. Either way, they are in on this server. The Erudite Paladin ones are not. Like those might have been added later. The Erudite Paladin has a really good newbie sword that has Bane damage on dead plus two. Um, Secrets, I think I am. This is the only... You know, it's it's the only resolution available uh, for the stone UI. And then I just used Alt-Enter, like you told me about, to be able to uh, full screen it. Rat ears. Yeah, I need to drop like 2K on a Trinitron. I wonder how much they are. Like they might actually be around 2K now. Those things are expensive. Yeah, this UI feels good, man. We're in it. We're in that real classic. That real classic. 
that's exactly how I feel. Pit. So secrets, are there any emulated servers that use earlier clients than this? I know EQ Classic was trying to run like the, the real trilogy UI, um, but you know, none of us mere mortals will probably ever play EQ Classic. Uh, she's great, man. She's great. She sucks up all my time. Uh, so I only stream like four hours a week now, but it's really awesome. It's been a great experience. Um, a source of joy. Watch my blinks, source of great joy. Like I'm like one of those prisoners. Blinking Morse code, save me. Oh, okay. Yeah, secrets, I was pretty surprised. Um, I assumed that the Titanium client was like relatively close to client, uh, re relatively close to classic. And then I looked at Titanium and I was like, dang dude, this like, Titanium came out with Depths of Dark Hollow. It's very not classic. They just, Rogin and Nilbog have just done a ton of work on it. Gotcha. Oh, uh, Wiseman, if you want a guide on how to get the old UI, just go ahead and do exclamation mark UI. Um, I guess it's a P99 alternative. Yeah, Pit. If you want to see a little bit more about this server, you can do exclamation mark uh, server, and it'll tell you all about the Alcabor server and give you some helpful links and stuff. No problem. Yeah, Duxa UI is really nice. But I'm going for that, uh, you know, going for that 1999 immersion effect right now. All I'm missing are the other 50 people that would have otherwise been in North Kanos right now. If this was really 1999, you'd see like two barbarian female shaman standing at the gates giving people random buffs as they ran by. Some halfling running around doing who knows what. And like 80 half elves, all with that same Brad Pitt face that they chose. I can't believe we haven't gotten one Plague Rat Tail. Oh, that's a really good idea, Pitt. You should do it. Yo, hit me up when you do it. We can play together. If you only have one month, I think you should do like the real, oh God, a warrior's like high level, yeah. If you only have like one month to do it, I think you should do like real classic, like really, really live it up that one month, go all the way back, hardcore style. TLP is easy. You could do TLP like two hours a night and get to 50 before the next expansion. Oh. Interesting, Katarin. Yep. Um, yeah, Secrets, I'll give you a permit link. Blah. There you go. Dang, look at us. We had to bail like one kill away from leveling up. Yeah, I can feel you there, Pit. There is definitely merit to playing on the TLP servers, 100%. You know what really gets me? I can't walk out of uh, sit, like normally on TLP servers, or I even think maybe even on P99, if you're sitting down and you press W, your character will just, you know, start moving. Um, here, I cannot do that.
Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it's accurate. I just, it's one of those things you take for granted, like you forget that you, you couldn't do that at one point. I wonder if it saved my camera. So I messed around with some of my camera views last time. It didn't really save it, I guess. I did some work to get this where I could play it in third person and it was like exactly where you would want the camera to be behind your character. But it takes a couple of minutes. I'm not going to fidget with it. Check out this. L look at that. Look at that stone ribs. I'll check that out, secrets. I'm telling you, this is just how it's split. Oh, look, we got it. Plague Rat Tail. All right, now I'll just kill some, some mobs really quick and get out of here. Round my Otis Bat. Whoops. Um, Sicarius, I have the old, I have the original instruction manual with my box back here. I could check. You probably, there probably was like a, a text command to change it. Yep. I know exactly what you're talking about. There's like a little cubby over there. Um, I, there is sound. I don't have music playing, but you should be hearing sounds. Tell me if you guys hear this. Hmm. It's going to my headphones. I don't know why it's not going to you guys. I could check and see if it's too low. All right, prepare to go deaf. Okay, so it's just low. See, the problem is if it starts raining out here, we're we're all legit gonna go deaf. It's gonna be like crazy. But I'll pump up the uh, I'll pump up the game sounds a little bit for you guys. That's as good as it gets. El Jefe, whoa! Thanks for the raid, dude. Hey, folks! If you are just now coming from El Jefe's stream, I am Zaid. I am doing a solo self-found hardcore run. This is a, a, a baby section of the run. We're level four, pretty much just getting started. Um, I've been doing SSF hardcore runs for like um, I don't know, close to a year now, guys. I did a paladin all the way up to level forty-two before dying in lower guck. If you want to check that out, exclamation mark rip. For folks who don't know El Jefe, he's an awesome streamer. He mostly does like a really classic EQ, like P ninety nine green. Uh, he also does the Alcabor project, and he's the guy, in fact, who showed me this uh, this server, Tech P, with the stone UI, and got me over here. So props to him. Please give him a follow. Check it out. No problem, dude. But yeah, we should be good on plat now. So we have a bunch of stuff to sell. We got the Plague Rat Tail. This will be a little over a plat. We'll be able to buy these level four spells. And let's see, I should be... So I don't know if we have to use that, that to meditate. We might auto meditate because I'm level four. It might be level eight though. Um, I enjoyed a lot, El Jefe. I only regret that I don't have more time to play. I only get to play EverQuest like four hours a, four hours a week right now. I've actually been in, in talks, diplomatic discussions with uh, my spouse about she and I doing like a joint stream kind of thing once a week. Um, just hard to find the time, but it would be like us trying to duo, not this way, on, uh, on this server probably. She plays, she's pretty good, so it would be fun. Yeah, and if you guys don't know anything about uh, 
this server, the Alcabor project. You could do that, uh, exclamation mark server for more information about it to see how to get the UI set up like this, exclamation mark UI. I don't know what she would play. She'd probably play like a, a druid or something. Oh, we're at the SK ones. Lately, she's been into druids and uh, like healer types, I would say. No, no, my uh, most recent paladin is still level 17 on P99 blue. He's he's good. He hasn't died. Um, I don't know. I just it's hard to it's hard to say. I just kind of like fell in love with this server when I played on it. So here we are. All right, good to go here. Let's sell some stuff. How's the merchant volume? Is this like deafening to you guys? Good. Perfect. Every now and then, his text comes as black text instead of gold text. Got a bug report that. I think it's if I'm selling something from a bag, I get the black text. And if I'm selling something from here, I get gold text. And that could just be a product of using the stone UI, though. I imagine there's not a lot of uh, developer interest in servicing this UI that like two people in the world use. Um, yeah, the, po the population is a little bit small. I mean, compared to P99, it's small for sure. It goes up to like 250s, I think. I don't know if I've ever seen it in the 300 range. So we get that. And then um, I've never really seen it lower than like 120 either. It's It's not bad. All right, where are we at? Got it, got it, got it. Reclaim energy. Um, yes. Endure cold, don't care. Fear, yes. Clinging darkness, yes. Numb the dead, no. Poison bolt. What level is this? Yes. Oh shit, I'm about to be like poor. Leering corpse. Converting bones was the level one one. He said he was done. Uh-oh. We might have to re-log to buy things after that. I wonder if it if it doesn't want to put things in bags. Numb the dead. Leering corpse. Purchase. Yeah, that's not good. This is going to take us 10 minutes to uh, scribe these anyway. See if it cools down and fixes itself. Can never give up on the nostalgia dream. Yeah, you can three box here. I choose not to. I'm not really a boxer myself. But uh, a lot of people are into it and they have like, you know, the community is very into like three box challenges from what I've seen on the forums, seeing what they could do with just three thing, uh, just uh, three characters. I think there's people who are like soloing Kunark dragons with their trios of level 60s. So it's pretty, pretty cool stuff they do. Yeah, yeah, this is the second time we've seen this. So I guess that might be a stone UI bug. That's a good question, Dread Pirate. I haven't seen it personally, but I, I understand it involves like a tank, a healer, and a bard, and it takes a long, long time. And so, secrets. If I came, if I came here with like fifty buddies, and we decided we are going to be jerks, the GMs would stop us. They'd be like. No, you have to be part of the rotation. Like if I broke the rotation, we'd, we'd face repercussions. Dang. So the EQ Max server came out when EverQuest was in the pop era. So a lot of the legacy items they'd never got unless there were GM events. So I don't know that guys ever dropped on the server or like Ruby BPs, Mana Stone, certainly not. So a lot of those uh, crazy early game items, I don't know that they're available. Certainly, certainly they don't still drop. Pre-nerf Donalds, very unlikely. 
Fungi staff, probably also not in. I'm not sure if if they have the technology to do it. I don't know how hard it is to do the dynamic zone thing. I know there's emulated servers where you hand NPCs a token and they like spawn raid mobs for you. So it's there's probably some stuff out there like it. Um, Parnes, it is. Well, it's like Planes of Power era. I don't know if, if that changed after Velius. Like, this is after the Monk AC nerf that happened in Velius. So there's that. Uh, the Pacify change is in. So Passy works a lot better than it would have in Classic, Real Classic. Um, XP gain. The EQ Max server always had a passive 20% EXP bonus. But my experience here is that this... Um, Feels slower than P99 to me, to be totally honest with you. I need a life spike. Well, let's see if we can buy stuff. But yeah, just doing these uh, these first couple levels. Nope, okay. What about this guy? Can we buy from this guy? Too poor. We're gonna camp really quick and see if that works. Yeah, this feels a lot slower than um, than P99 to me. Just like, you know, it's, it's taken us about three hours of playtime to get level four. Yeah. Uh, yeah, secrets, go ahead. I think your, your permit statement should still be legit right now. Um, I was wrong, secrets. I was wrong. You got a new one. This was another character I was playing with. Uh, ooh, we almost did the, the Paniel Erudite Shadow Knight. But no. I think we still have the EXP penalties for races, but hybrid exp penalty should be gone on this server so yeah i'm rocking that xr that xr penalty right now all right perch hmm i logged in with a lot less money than i logged out with Maybe the bug is is not the vendor crashing. It's an incorrect display of my currency, like a desync between currency displayed and currency owned. That's what the, the problem is. I wish we had an overflow. Yeah, like I wonder if it was charging me for the spells I was trying to buy. Feels bad, man. If I knew I didn't have enough money, I would have uh, prioritized that pet spell. But we'll get there. Did I go too high? I feel like I'm too high. Almost fell to my death. Right? I definitely have room. Yeah, KP EMU was fun. But it was kind of like, KP EMU was, was, was fun, but it was like being in a high school with some of the characters on there. My presence didn't help. Cash Tech P is uh, the Alcabor project it is an effort to um perfectly emulate the eq max server alcabor as it existed uh, before it was closed down by sony or daybreak i 
Man, look at that realistic lighting. Yeah, it was the Mac server. Secrets, you're starting classless 3.0, but with classes, I don't understand. Okay, well, I must have had some useful spells, right? Fear, not gonna use. Clinging Darkness, that's a good spell. Poison Bolt, that's a good spell too. Uh oh, did I just. What is this? Cold Light? Oh, I have a U. Very situational, I can mend that another time. Mem that another time. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Anyone who doesn't play the 17th class, scam. Oh, you know what? I realized because of my camera positioning, you guys can't see my inventory. Sorry about that, folks. I'm open to ideas um, on where you would like to see the camera position move to, if this isn't the greatest. Right, yeah, right, Dino. Sounds very complicated. Like, not complicated to play, but it's, it sounds like it was a lot of work on your end. Over the class icon. Couple more seconds here. And it's uh, still PVP on, right? Secrets by default. You know what? It's kind of shitty that they put this granite storm hand dude right by the sewer entrance. Because, like, how am I supposed to enter the aqueducts if I'm an evil character? I guess I can access it probably without getting in his aggro range. I don't know what level an undead knight is offhand. But I'm going to see if I can kill him. Ooh, the princess. 1999 EverQuest Raid. Thanks for the follow. A very fitting uh, channel for you. Alright, we need to uh, hope here that we do not have... Vin Multor up, that we do not aggro Bait Masterson, and that there is not a Dread Corpse. If all three things are true, we can have a good time. Beware of the Plague Bringer. Feels really nice having a good swimming skill by default. Whoa, there's three people in the Kanos catacombs? Look, it's the PH. Ha <laughs> ha. 
I can't cast a spell and see how much oxygen I have remaining at the same time. Sir, please do not attack me. Well, this guy's going to drop five gold, pretty much. It's going to be pretty nice. Yeah, I saw that. It's cool. It's cool to see that Temerity still exists in some form. Boom. Five gold right there. Don't want to deal with that large piranha. Well, you know, it's about the journey, not the destination. So it's if you have fun, just jump on and play casually. But yeah, I'm also not a fan of boxing. Imagine if I cast uh, Engulfing Darkness on this thing that's trying to run away. Imagine if I did that. All right, pet, I assume that you have that well in hand now. Don't need any additional assistance from me. If there's a class to box, the bard is it. But um, I think on, on Tac P, they do not have melody. So boxing a bard is like some work. You got to memorize your uh, finger rotation. Um, Rick Archer, I am not playing on a CRT, only because I don't have a CRT, but if I find one... Oh, 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 that's really bad. That's really bad. Guys, it's one of the things we said we needed to not run into. Fuck, he comes over here too. Yeah, if I had a CRT, I'd, I'd plug it in and try it out. But in the meantime, this is the next best option for good old classic EverQuest. <laughs> yeah, play play like the legit EQ Mac. I'm thinking about doing a video of like my my EverQuest collection, all my games and stuff. Go over like the the whole room, show showcase everything. Finny, where are you at, dude? The only reason I haven't done it yet is because I have some stuff that I'm not going to get until after Christmas. And I want to include it all, you know what I mean? Okay, so Vin punches for like 50 damage. He will kill us in one round. There he is over there. Oh, it's just a, a normal beggar. Man, this is so sketch. He could be like directly to the left of us in this tunnel. Made it. Whew. Oh, that's crazy. Well, you know Hobart now. Why doesn't he just hook it up? Doesn't Hobart like have the database backed up personally that he could just give to the EQ Mac devs? It's that rain I warned you guys about. Oh, look at it. It's it's Xiathin. My guy. It is so I get that there's red tape if we talk about it, but what if 
he just made a random random name account and covertly dropped it to them. And we never talked about it. You know what I mean? What if we did it like that? What if he was able to say that his computer, which held the documents, was compromised? Well, that's good. I'm telling you, man. Hobart just has to say, uh... His computer got hacked. Those dang Russian hackers stealing the EQ Mac database and giving it to the EverQuest players. Hey, honestly, if I had to pick one, I would pick Vanguard because I want to play it. And, uh, you know, at least this emulator is in a playable state. Like Vanguard, you can't really, you're not really doing anything if you play it. Oh, I don't have a pet. Pets don't zone, rip. Slazic, so check it out. Just do exclamation mark server in my chat and it'll give you a link on how to get set up and everything. It's very simple, it's easier than P99. I mean, um, you know, Hobart, he could just say, in the interest of security, he is going to keep his, uh, his copy of those databases on a separate server and then accidentally reveal the IP address of that server. And that's all we would really need. Um, and no one else ever has to know anything else about that. You know what I mean? Yeah, it sucks. Daybreak will never release it. So let me tell you guys a story. Um, eight months ago, eight months ago, I submitted a request to Daybreak for them to okay the release of an EverQuest document, which is 20, 21 or 22 years old. 20, 22 years old. It's from 1998, right? So eight months ago, I requested that they, they allow us to release that. And, uh, they have not responded. The last update I got was that, uh, their executive team had it and was reviewing. What's there to review? Just say yes or no, dude. Two gold, dude. You scam. Um, I should hit up J Chan. It's not updating, of course. Well, let's see. Dude, that's hilarious secrets. If they said that, I would be a little bit less salty about it just for the memes. Hmm, look at that loading screen. Look at it. Look at my boy Emp's raw down there in the bottom left. That's what I'm talking about. Dude, it's wrong. That is wrong. You guys watched me sell. Go back and do the math. Somebody go back and clip this. I sold something that, I mean, like, I've got more money than this. This is incorrect. K 
killing me. He's gonna give me one silver and two copper. That worked. I don't know. It's a mystery. It's a mystery to everybody. Mouse control deactivated. Uh-oh. Turn that back on. Dude, look at look at Mystic Somas. My dude here has risen to great heights. I really like the sound it played for the door opening, like that stone sliding on stone. But yeah, I mean, if it was if it was just me about releasing the document, I'd be like, screw it, you know what, I'll release it. Don't care what Daybreak says. But it's technically in the possession of a, a friend of mine who is very much a rules follower. If he will not release it without permission. I would have been released that thing. Yeah, Zythan, we got to look to the last time I left from the spells, like before I went back to Kanos. Because I opened my inventory, I said, oh, my, you know, there was something wrong with the amount of money I had. But I think when I left and went to Kanos, I still had two gold. Then I went to Kanos, did all my stuff, came back, sold a bunch of things to include the egg, which sold for two gold, and I still only have two gold. It's almost like uh, if I only had the money from exactly what I had just sold. Am I wrong, Secrets? Ah, there we go. Permit secrets passed. Gonna watch this clip with the volume off. That's a good clip. Thank you, Secrets. Dude, how am I going to kill a bat and not even get one wing? Like, I can see visually that he's got two. That's the, the Norath tax. I'm hurting, boys. We've never been this hard up for money on an SSF run. It makes sense that I'm damaging them. Okay. Come on, tail. Nothing. I'm scared to click this. Oh, yeah, the, the classic swimming. You could change everything to water mode. I remember when you told me about that. What about Lashoon? He's yellow. I can't wait to kill him.
Yeah, maybe I should do like the the good old uh, fashion bard diet. Um, I won't play it too safe. Uh, D loves. Is this your first? Is this your first time watching me play uh, a hardcore EverQuest run? Uh, I mean, I guess just like for perspective, my last hardcore character that like we really went deep on died at level forty-two in Lower Guck, around like the Ghoul Lord camp area. We like to let our nuts hang a little bit. Crack staff? These are a dark pop with a crack staff? Permadeath, Rick Archer. Permadeath. We delete it. You could do exclamation mark uh, purple, I think, and you could see the, the couple times that my pally went into the purple club in the middle of combat. Uh, one was in Paw, one was in Painial when I was farming guards on my Paladin. And then, uh, of course, you could do exclamation mark rip to see my final moments. Oh, that is really bad. Okay, he's he's chasing secrets around. Secrets, you're scaring me. We just got trolled. With the great staff. I had three silver. Zythan, he did, he did the math. Detective Zythan found out that I was wrong. Yeah, do you know? I think I think you're right. Like Pally is is cool because it is like no shit, super hard and brutal. But uh, the Necromancer, we'll be, be able to do like some pretty fun stuff. Like, just once we get to high keep, you're gonna see me do crazy things. Plague Rat Tail. Yeah, all solo. Solo self found, no ports, no buffs, no binds, no grouping, no trades. Um, and basically, no resolution. I can only see five feet away from me. No twinks, nothing. Look at me. All natural. And we're in Ixar, so the most hated race. All my items must come from mobs that I solo. Uh, quests I do by myself. The default stock of a vendor. So like if someone sells him a flowing black silk sash, I can't buy it off of him. I can only buy what he would sell by default. Um, and things I craft. Yeah, the regen's gonna be nice. My last necromancer I played was an erudite. And uh, man, I loved having like a bazillion intelligence. But once you get lich, you know what I mean? It's gonna be really nice to have uh, to have the regen. So we're hedging our bets on making it pretty far in so that we get the benefits of Lich. Yeah, that night blindness would be real. Viral ostrich, man. Good to see you, dude. I was gone for a while, but I've been back for a couple weeks now, Viral. Hey, Rich, Rick Archer, thank you so much for the follow there. Um, Viral, so I stream twice a week now, a lot less than I used to, only at 5 p.m. Eastern, Mondays and Fridays. I know, right, Zagorian? That's kind of how I feel every time I come in here. I feel like I'm on a Minecraft server where the, the host recreated Plane of Knowledge in Minecraft. But yeah, um, I think after after the Christmas season, I'm going to do a, a video where I go through like all my EverQuest collectible nonsense. Because um, at that point, I'll pretty much have everything. The bard diet is basically all throughout Norath, there are bards like Misty Story Swapper and uh, Lisa Goldtune and stuff. And they're there for like the, the bard like travel quests and some other things and just lore sometimes. But they respawn in about six minutes and you sit there in that one spot and you just kill them. Over and over and over and over again. All right. You're not scamming me this time. 
<laughs> yes, very unethical. For some reason, on this run, I really want to kill Kane Bale and Carson McCabe, which I think I will be able to do solo at 50 uh, without too much difficulty. One platinum, five gold. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Good. Life spike. All right. So we tried to buy it. When we attempted to buy it, we had one platinum, seven gold. If we come back in with, with one platinum, two gold, we'll know that he's cheating us. We're getting to the bottom of this right now. If I trade your trumpet some bones, is it SSF? I can trade two NPCs, so it would still be SSF. I am going to farm my own bone ships, 100%. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, uh, give me a second, Secrets, once I finish getting scammed and playing the knowledge again. And look at that. It looks so good. What dragon is this? Okay. We got it on stream, folks. Dude, there's no way. There's no way. It's captured. Indisputable. Scammed. God, tell me I bought the pet spell and not life spike. That's crazy. Well, we got it on stream, so if we clip it, we can uh, submit a bug report. Yeah, that's a good that's a good question, Bernelf. If I zone, will it fix it? Okay, so I had um casual, I had one platinum, seven gold, and I attempted to buy a five gold spell. He said, I I got the bug where it's like you don't have the money. I'm looking at my money, one platinum, seven gold. I log out, log back in, I have no platinum, and I don't know how much gold it was. Very little. Um, but we confirmed, like all I did was buy one spell that was five gold. So there's no way that I was able to, to lose all my money like that. To look on the ground. Oh, like maybe the spells I'm, I'm trying to buy are just appearing on the ground. Uh, yeah, it's it's not in my bags. I I checked. I was hoping, dude. Oh my god, clicking, clicking on a on a bag aborts my memorization attempt. We'll go mem. We'll finish memorizing this um, in North Kanos anyway. Too high, right? Yeah. Thank you, Rick. You are the man. Hang on, I'm gonna give you uh, permissions to link the clip. There you go. Wolf, am I making raw silk armor? Um, you know, I wasn't thinking about it, but I should, right? It's it's pretty simple to make raw silk armor, and if I go to Field of Bone, there's like 10 million spiders I can hunt for really, really quick silk. Yeah, I'm going to zone right zone right now, secrets, to see if that uh, fixes it. Hmm. So we know that my money was at least accurate when I, before I camped, because I, I basically had no money, right? I sold him a Plague Rat Tail, which we know is one platinum, five gold, and then a few other items. It put me to a total of one platinum, 10 gold. 
and then you know some miscellaneous silver and copper. I bought a spell, taking me down to one platinum, seven gold. Logged out, logged back in, and I had four silver, which I still have. I think the clip probably captures it pretty well. Yeah, so folks, uh, don't think anything bad about the server on this is most certainly the fact that I'm using a archaic, outdated UI that shouldn't really work. That said, I encourage all of you guys to um, do exclamation mark server and log in, get downloaded and everything with the Alcabor server, the Alcabor project. It is a lot of fun. Come play here. We'll start a guild if we get a bunch of us and we'll uh, you know just roll around doing casual fun stuff. Dude, Rob is going to hate me because I've already pestered him about some bugs. He's going to be like, dude, you've been here for like five minutes and you're already a constant nuisance. Let's check out this new pet. This is the Alcabor project. It's a server which seeks to perfectly emulate, ooh, that yellow pet feels good, um, the EQ Max server. Well, the thing is, like, the money's gone, you know what I mean? In this one instance, we are very confident because I sold a certain amount and my displayed money was correct. Then I camped and the money was gone. It, it's not back after zoning secrets, staying at four silver, nine copper. All right, where's my boy, Ashen? Who's this, Zayathin? Whoa, Fibby. Uh, checking bags, right, right. So I only had one erroneous purchase, one where it bugged out, you know what I mean? Which would have subtracted five gold, which would have put me at one platinum, two gold, instead of no platinum, no gold. Look, I okay, I just got one gold, nine silver, six copper off of Fippy. All right, everything is in order here. Could be. I assume the merchants in uh, in POK are heavily used. I see. Try banking my loot. Yeah, I could. Or I could be a lazy idiot. Let's see if I can drop coins. I assume you can't. Usually like dropping coins is like a, a huge uh, server load. It looks like I cannot drop coins. I could trade him to the Beckon though. Secrets, did you uh, kill Lashin? Brad, this is the Alcabor project. Oh, uh, okay.
Man, my pet's taking like no damage. The only issue is I don't think I can, yeah, I'd have to log out to do it, which I mean, I, I don't really mind doing. Um, right, <laughs> yeah, because I have to edit the I and I. You know, to be fair, it's it's not easy to work with the stone UI. To reload, so you you have to um, if you're using Stone UI and you want to change to like a modern UI setup, you have to log out, go to your EverQuest your EQ client to INI file, and there's a setting called uh, New UI equals, and you change it to true. Right now, it's set as false. Ooh, Crax's Dark Paw. So we're gonna meditate a little bit, and we're gonna try to kill this Yellow Con. Should be exciting. Oh, nice, Scython. Dude, that Meiji Rat is so rare. Good on you for helping Sneep Galloway. What do you guys think? Half mana good enough for a yellow con? That's a good question. Can I use stick figures and stone UI? I could probably run this thing on a calculator if I do. All right. Do we want to even bother darknessing this guy? What is my, what is my doing darkness cost mana wise? It's probably gonna be super easy. Mana cost is 20, this is probably 40, 30, easy. Not resisted. Insufficient mana, ooh, fizzled into out of mana. What's the going on now on skills? All right, need to jump in here. Time to start doing work, pet. My pet is uh, letting me down a little bit. 69%. We should, we should be able to pull out the dub. Okay, 30. Oh, that's gonna... There we go. Now let's look at this EXP. Hey, not bad. Null tooth I can't use. Sad. I should actually just probably just like save these up just in case I one day fix my faction enough. There's probably like no way I'll do it because I've been killing every humanoid NPC I see. Uh, skills we are level four. I think I do need to go put a point in meditate. Um, yeah, Zagorian, I'm just not a huge fan of Field of Bone. It is, it would be faster than this, no doubt. Um, there's so many mobs, you know what I mean? But man, I love Kanos, so that's why. Also, Plague Rat Tales, 1.5 plat. Should I submit a petition to get my two platinum back that I probably lost?
my small viewport combined with chills fast movement speed is just nuts Um, let's look at my EXP. I think this is more or less just a faction quest, right? Okay, so we're right at the edge of that little thingy. And we do four. This might be one where I could just submit. Oh, shit. I wonder if he'll take a stack like this. Oh. It's, it's got to be unstacked. Okay. It kind of sucks that it's like auto stacking it. Give. Huh. No faction. I think this is supposed to give you faction. Oh, you know what? That's that's how it was nerfed. You don't get um you do not get positive faction benefits when turning items into a charmed NPC. Um, yeah, my goals right now, Dino, are just to, to get a few levels, get my spells in order, and then I'm going to start focusing really heavily on gear. Um, I got to plot out the gear, though. A lot of the stuff that I would normally get is kind of off the table for right now due to being an XR, like, because there's a lot of quests I can't do. Um, I might check out the Warrens and get some of the gear there. I'm going to get some of the, you know, the good old uh, Canis Aqueducts gear, like the limestone rings and stuff. And then eventually I will do the Temple of Soulsec row quests to get my harvester and my robes and stuff, but that'll be closer to like level 25, 30. All right, Lashun is free. We'll go kill him in a second. Perfect. Just meditate a minute. Um, skills, they, you actually don't have to have anything like that. Like um, you go to the website and you can just download it straight up from them directly. Yeah, after five, Kanos is, is rough. Yeah, this is actually, this is actually the classic sky, I think. Secrets, did it look different in 1999? I have single layer turned on, though double layer is an option. Yeah, Secrets is uh, the bard here. Where's, where's Lashin at? Where is Mr. Novashine? More pixelated? I don't know, man. I got like, I got a lot of pixels going on over here. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ooh, I might be able to kill some of the weak guards pretty soon. Not at level four though. What the? F Yo, that's not uh, that's not classic pathing. I could probably increase the pet DPS like right now by doing that. Um. I just don't have any weapons to give him, I don't think. You gotta be at least at a point where you're, like, you're gonna stay in a zone for a little while, so it's worthwhile. The big thing is, I don't know if on this server your pet always comes out as your optimal pet, or if you're gonna have to like resummon him many times. This dude's getting jumped right now. Can't kill me and my boy. Later secrets. Have a good one, dude. Thanks for coming by. What 
Working on my Bloodsaber faction. There we go. Right. What's going on? Gelid. Zythan, are you a pally? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, dude. I didn't I wouldn't have done it in front of you if I had known. Look out, Granite Stormhand coming back. So when I was a, a little kid, there's a, I think there's like a, a level 10 or 11 guard that comes out here sometimes. And me and all the other newbies in the, the Canis newbie yard were hanging out and I was like, dude, I have an idea of how we can get plate armor right now. We formed up this big mob, like 13 of us, and we jumped this guard and killed him. Because at the time I thought, like, if you saw it on an NPC, he dropped it, even his armor. Um, that's when I found out that was not true. We were very disappointed when we didn't get a full set of, like, plate and chain mail. Man, back then you just didn't know what the rules were, you know what I mean? Like, you just assumed the world was as real as possible. My sense heading, I think, is, like, five. Hmm. Oh, wrong one. Let's hit Persona. Oh yeah. What am I doing? I, I can't even tell you what it is. It's too classic. For some reason my hand is like not aligned correctly on my keyboard today. I keep you keep seeing me like press um, three, which is my life tap button while I'm running. I'm intending to press two, which is my pet attack button. It might be from playing the pally so much where Yalp is three and I'm always trying to hit Yalp right before combat. I just, you know, come up with that bad habit. Oh, I, I do. Um, I have, I've got pet HP and sense heading set to my A and D keys. So whenever I like look left or right, it's automatically doing that. Uh, the pally is good. We're just trying something different. I, I found out about uh, attack P and how classic the client is and that I could use this UI. So we came here and we started messing around with this. Uh, that's pretty much the whole story. The pally is still good though. We may return to him. It's not sure when or what that's going to look like. In the meantime, we're doing Solo Cell Found Hardcore Necromancer on the Alcabor Project server. Oh, what's up, Rab? Yeah. Yeah, it's rough. Yeah, the one chat window is, is brutal. Imagine trying to give like raid instructions or something like that, you know what I mean? While you're seeing 40 people melee a dragon. Man, I don't want to run all the way into uh, the other Kabbalist to train up. I'm pretty confident there is a uh, Necromancer GM somewhere in the south here. Yeah, Brad, that's why that's why I'm playing like this. Taking you all the way back. Rab, you were the one who cautioned me against uh, buying a house, right? Or you just you just told me it was gonna suck. Yeah, dude, it sucks, just like you said. Hey, there we go. Actually, I shouldn't have put any points into it after the first one, because it's like literally the easiest skill uh, to... Oh, there we go. Hey, 
yeah, so like my first week living in the house, um, I found out there was a spot where the roof leaks into my master bedroom, which was pretty sweet because we were getting hit by a hurricane. That was fantastic. I can't tell you. See, did spending that copper make me lose all my money? Okay, not all of it. So we'll go uh, buy our last spell here. Um, I didn't. Was it a lot? Let's check this out. I want to see if... Yeah, okay. Wow. Okay, cool. We also don't have to open the spell book to get it. That goes up very fast. Excellent. Yeah, homeownership basically just means you're poor until you sell the house. I'm in like a weird position, you know, because with my career, basically every three years I, I move to a different place on the planet and I will probably never see this house again after that. Okay, guys, let's... Uh... Closely monitor our gold. We have eight gold. We will buy life spike, five gold. Okay, and use my silver and copper. Now let's camp and see what we come back with. What's up, Matt? Good to see you, dude. All right, you see that the top left ish quadrant the one next to fell with on the loading screen what dragon is that Was it? All right, now that we have our stuff, we'll camp again and we'll get another chance to look at that, uh, that loading screen. Nice, Matt. That's funny. All right, look really close. Get ready. We're going to go in. Pay attention to that dragon. Dude, is that Gornair really? It looked purple to me. That's the deal, Ryan. 
I camped with one platinum and 13 gold, and I locked back in with seven gold. Always trying to keep an XR down. Yeah, that's the the tax peak tax cut for real, dude. Yeah, the hardest of hardcores. No way we're ever gonna get Lainuga to give us a, an earring now. I lose fifty percent of my plat when I log in. How am I gonna afford these rubies? So let's think, folks. What is the first good robe I can get? Like, Befallen? Yeah, absolutely, Mikey. Um, if you add me on Discord, my Discord information is down there. You can add me and hit me up anytime. The Jaina. Um, I don't know. I, yeah, I haven't used the I haven't used the bank at all yet. Yeah, FBR Robin Enshroudment. Uh, Enshroudment is the Robin Enshroudment is the one that you get from the quest in Soul Road Temple, though, right? One of them is is super easy to get. Yeah, no way I'll do the epic on this character. I wonder what kind of shenanigans we'd have to do for me to solo Keeper of Souls. A raid wiped. I just happened to find him up at 2%. Robo the Oracle in the 30s, sir. I think you are severely underestimating the strength of the Oracle. That dude will slap me around at like 45. Yeah, skills, um, I know what you're talking about. There's the three NPCs um, that drop that robe. It's also done through a Soul Road Temple quest, but those NPCs are level 40 necromancers. We just smash them on TLPs because we level to 50 really quick and then a 50 mage can solo them. And then you take the robes and sell them for one chrono a piece the day after the server comes out. You didn't hear it from me, folks. But that's the strat. Yeah, the paladin is a beast. Yeah, I think you're right. It is the paladin that always jacks me up. What is he now? He's like six six hours on uh, P99, I think. Um, you can get this same bar right here if you just press F11 in game on pretty much any EverQuest server. It automatically pops on with this UI uh, when I log in, so I have to toggle it off. My real estate is precious right now on screen, so. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I, I haven't really ever paid too much attention to it. I'll take your word for it, though, if it's different. Bring it back up. Could be. Server, client. Five hundred. I mean, like, this number is, is bad right now, so I'm not really feeling any negative effects from it. All right, let's go to, um, we'll go to Field of Bone. We'll hunt some spiders. We'll get a bunch of silk and we will make some raw silk armor. Capitalist is over here.
Fieldbone has really cool uh, zone sounds. I'm hitting like almost a thousand, almost four digits in Field of Bone. It's not like EverQuest requires any kind of response time or anything though. Yeah, Mikey, um, I think on my, on my page here, someone correct me if I'm totally wrong. I think there's a link to my Discord and you can jump in there and I'll be there and you can just add me there. As, the Discord is the best way to keep in contact with me. Um, cause I am pretty much addicted to my phone when I'm not playing EverQuest. I'll pretty much always respond. Um, and unless I don't want to respond and then I'll pretend I don't see it. Hmm, that might be correct, wrecked. Yeah, you're right, Dino. I should do a little Discord command like that. All right, this is my hill. It's gotta be this one. There we go. Let's see if we have any of the named spiders up. Pally is okay. I should ask Secrets to just uh, conjure up a level 17 Paladin on this server so I can do it on here instead of uh, P99. Now these, oh, you know what? These are gonna drop Spiderling Silks. Well, whatever, I could use it to skill up. Oh, them being social is like, ooh, pretty sketch. So skills, the parcel NPCs in Rivervale are actually you somewhat unique in that they can be killed. Um, and they also have spawn cycles. Like at during the daytime, you might have the parcel NPC up, and then at nighttime, you might have uh, some other guard who is not flagged as a parcel NPC. It's kind of crazy. Oh, this is not going well. Yeah, I'm on, uh, I'm on the Alakambor server. Skills, um, I was in like the little spider hut that is in the Field of Bone. Yeah, if you go on Field of Bone, um, you come out of the city and to the left before the pit, there's like this little tiny hill and there's a, a section of the dirt cut out and you can like go down there, there's a billion spiders. Gotcha, Sicarius. Sorry, my arm was itching, but I had to uh, scratch it with my light five o'clock shadow because I can't stop strafe running or else I'll die. Dude, I, I do feel like I'm running super fast. You are not the first person um, to say that to me, Matt.
I think the lowest levels in EQ are like some of the most fun. Yeah, the first time I, I had my face, like my camera on for stream, some people messaged me and were like, dude, I thought you were like some fat neck beard. Uh, oh, geez. Any, any help guards? Any help? No? Okay. Why do I use headphones? It's actually because of the stream. Like normally I don't wear headphones, but um, I want to hear music and it's the same background music you guys hear. But if I don't have headphones in, you'll hear my desktop music and then it'll come through the microphone at the same time. So you'll hear it twice. And that would be the same for all sounds uh, that come from the client and stuff too. You guys don't hear music? Oh my goodness. Well, there's music. You guys should be able to hear it. It's probably just because the volume's too low. You guys don't hear that music? That's crazy. I try to keep it low because I want it to be like just really like background. Um, I don't know. Is my is my like actual discussion audio fine? Yeah, I have my desktop audio really really reduced. That's probably why. Yeah, Stoics. This is the Alcabor server. The Alcabor project. It seeks to emulate. Uh, the EQ Max server. There we go. So I've increased my my desktop volume, which should improve things a little bit. Is it like too much sound though? You know what it was? If you guys look at like two streams ago, I pulled up the Alcabor project for the first time while we were in unrest on the pally and the music was like deafening for everybody and i think that's when i cranked all my desktop audio down because i went back and watched that and i was like oh geez like you couldn't hear anything if you do the exclamation mark server command cache override there's a link there that has like you know what makes alcabor different there's like a whole wiki page on it. They're better at explaining it than I am. But really this is just the most classic um, client that I can get my hands on and actually play. So that's why I choose it. Mostly the stone UI and all that stuff. This whole visual essence that we have here is kind of what I'm after. They also have some other things and exploits which were native to EQ Mac um, that are retained here but don't exist on other servers. Dino. It is my belief that that was intentionally put in by developers, yes. <laughs> right, Toxic? All right, guys, we're at my two hour mark. I've got to go take care of real life concerns. Um, unfortunately, I won't see you guys again until Friday, 5 p.m. Eastern, as always, though. So come back, check out some uh, more classic, hardcore, solo self found EverQuest action. If you want to keep up with me in between streams, you can uh, jump in the Discord that we have linked on the page. Um, we're always looking for more people also to jump on the Alcabor server here with us, and uh, we can get like a guild going doing some fun, casual, hardcore, solo self-found stuff. So hit me up if you're interested. Until then, have a great time, and I look forward to seeing you all on Friday. Thank you very much.